Hi everybody, Lori here. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the Blossoms and Butterflies release blog hop with Simon's Stamp. And I have a project I've created which is perfect for Mother's Day using some of the new release products. I'm gonna be starting with this Outline Floral Mom Dye. And I'm running this through with some Nina Solar White cardstock and the Gemini Junior. I flip it over, I give it a little rap -a tap tap and it pops out. And if that doesn't work, throw it on the floor. That's what I do and it pops out, works like a charm. Now for the background, I've got some Bristol paper here and I'm blending some Distress Oxides. I'm starting with Cracked Pistachio and then on the other side, Mermaid Lagoon. I started out very light, kind of a subtle background, but you know how that goes, you keep going, you keep going. And I fast forwarded this because it did take me a while. I was just taking my time and I was just enjoying these two colors. To me, Cracked Pistachio and Mermaid Lagoon, they're like peanut butter and jelly. They're like chips and salsa. They're like comfy sweatpants and an afternoon nap. You know what I mean? A match made in heaven. Okay, so the ink panel's done. Um, gonna go crazy with the flicks right now. But uh, the chips and salsa reminded me of something. The other night I made, my daughter asked me, can you make for dinner uh, fajitas, homemade salsa, and homemade guacamole? And I said... Uh, let's meet in the middle. Okay, so now I'm, I'm smooshing on some of the Distress Oxides onto an acrylic block, and I'm going to flick those too. Uh, but I said, let's meet in the middle. So I made the fajitas. I bought a jar of salsa, but I did make homemade guacamole. And I'll tell you what, I impressed myself. If I do say so myself, that guacamole was out of this world. I And it was chunky, which, you know, my daughter says, is this supposed to be chunky or smooth? And I'm like, you know what? There's no rules. What are you, the guacamole police? Just go with it. But I will say there was a slight problem because she insisted that I get these Catalina tortilla chips, which are like paper thin. They're delicious, but every time you go to scoop up the guacamole, the chip would break right in the guacamole. And it was like, are you kidding me? Are you joking me right now? I mean, forget about it. But I, the guacamole itself was darn fine, mighty fine. Now, I'm ink blending the letters, these mom letters that popped out of the outline floral uh, mom die and I wanted it to contrast with the background which was you know crack pistachio and mermaid lagoon so I decided I did worn lipstick spice marmalade and now I'm adding just a smidge of candied apple right on the tip just to bump up that vibrancy now I'm going to adhere the ink blended panel onto a white card base using some Gina K tape runner which is my new fave right now I love it and then now to adhere the outline floral mom dime just putting a little bit of glossy accent on the letter outline part just on the inner outline part of the letter the outer foliage has no glue on it that way it can be bended forward for a little dimension and then I put little slivers of foam tape on the mom letters popping those up for dimension this card's just about finished but I'm going to add an embossed coordinating scent. See how I'm manipulating the foliage to bend it forward? It makes all the difference, if you ask me. Now, I'm going to emboss a coordinating sentiment to go along with the mom. This is from the Tiny Words Encouragement stamp set. And these are great because they're smaller. And they complement a larger word die or stamp sentiment perfectly. So I'm going to pop this sentiment strip up right in the middle. I put a little foam tape right in the middle of the O. That way my sentiment strip doesn't have any saggage. And now for embellishment, I'm using some Nouveau Simply White Glossy Drops. Just here and there. Just wherever I felt like it should go. And this card is finished. And this will make the perfect card for Mother's Day. I'm not sure if I'll give it to my mom. Sometimes my kids get into my stash and steal cards to give to me for Mother's Day, but they can't get in trouble for that one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Check out the rest of the Blossoms and Butterflies release blog hop. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.